I saw T.B. Joshua in hell, this testimony is a sad fate of a man that the Lord Jesus Christ has warned in many occasions and many ways, in order to call him to repentance, but who had finally gave up the ghost without responding to the call of repentance, it is not with joy that we are publishing this testimony, it is in sadness because a soul is lost, and the Lord Jesus is sad because he gave his life to save men not to lose them. In 2020 the Lord has revealed to me that T.B. Joshua was a Satanist of high rank, I was praying at night, I heard the Spirit of God instructing me to pray for those who follow T.B. Joshua program in television, the Spirit of the Lord has revealed that when T.B. Joshua was praying in television extending his hand to the people following him in television, when he told people get connected and touch the television, people that were following him were receiving the mark of the beast. Back then the spirit told me T.B. Joshua must repent, for he has sexual intercourse with women of his church, claiming that barren women who sleep with him will become productive, the Lord said that he was a witch and a Satanist, I kept these warning up until I learned of his death, my soul was saddened because I had not delivered the message to him, the spirit of the Lord rebuked me and told me, from now on, whenever you receive a message you must not keep it, you must deliver it straight away. When I heard of T.B. Joshua's death, I saw many ignorant people saying his soul rest in peace, yet it is appointed to men to die once then come judgment. When I learned of the death of T.B. Joshua, immediately my vision opened, and I saw T.B. Joshua in hell. In the night the Lord said I want to show you something, to tell the world, for T.B. Joshua is not in my presence, if anyone say otherwise he is a liar. T.B. Joshua resorted to magic to perform miracles. Among the crowds coming to his ministry were also demons in flesh. He was a great master of magic and a specialist in demonstration of power, however some of his miracle were set up, for I was not in his ministry, the Lord said come and I will show you things, immediately I was transported in the spirit and I landed in hell, there was great darkness, only the light of the Lord that was lightening the place, the Lord said, I will show thrones, and one man, we were in a horrible and dreadful place, similar to a massive cave, that seems like a valley, it was so dark that you will not know whether there is someone or not, we walk in a path that was dry like hot sand of a desert, we arrived before an ancient trusty gate, the Lord opened the dirty and somber gate, it seems like we were alone in this dreadful place, I felt like we were observed, but I could not see anyone, when we had entered this abandoned gate. We saw a creature that had huge fang like metal. These demons fled from the Lord when when they saw him, in my spirit I knew that we came to this place especially for T.B. Joshua. And I knew in my spirit that T.B. Joshua was the one in the spotlight in this dreadful place, the Lord said, when an unbeliever die he will not be cast in a complicated place of torment, but when someone that knew the truth but deliberately chose the enemy die he will fall in a terrifying place kept by demon, tell my people to not come to hell for demon will not allow them to rest, finally we arrived in a place where there were many thrown inside the flames of hells, that was burning intensely, the Lord said, I will show you many thrones reserved for many famous pastor and leaders in the flames, leaders that many people venerate and worship in the world, firstly the Lord showed me the throne of Joyce Meyer, and he told me, tell this woman to repent, likewise I terminated T.B. Joshua I will strike her if she continue to ignore my warning, then the Lord showed me the throne of Pastor Marcel Etunazi, and he said, I have warned him in many occasion and many ways but he has hardened his heart, warn him that I will strike him and interrupt his days, and he won't say that I did not warn him, the Lord show me the throne of Benny Hinn, and said, I have warned this pastor in many ways so that he will repent but he has scorned my grace, I am still warning him, all these thrones in the flames are reserved for false prophets, but T.B. Joshua is different from all of them, for he was carrying the name of the African Messiah, the Black Rhinoceros. He is in a separate place, finally we enter a place where the heat was much more intense, where I saw throne and T.B. Joshua was seating on one them. He had a black crown of his head like Billy Graham who was also here, the Lord said these demon has coronate T.B. Joshua because he was among the thirteen most powerful witch, I saw that his throne was on an elevated platform, the Lord said since men have lifted him high on the earth, 
He is also lifted high in the place of torment. When T.B. Joshua saw the Lord Jesus Christ he wanted to rise from his throne, but his body was stuck on his throne, fire was consuming his body, and I saw his crown that was penetrating his skull, finally he said Lord Jesus forgive me, please forgive, the Lord asked him, what have you done for me to forgive and who am I to you, T.B. Joshua said, I slept with women that were virgin, in order to be powerful, I sacrifice people that watch me on TV and I drank the blood of my members that I had sacrificed, I pregnanted married women and I have prophesied lies, I have killed men and women and children for glory, I wanted to be famous, Satan had made me many and great promises, he said I will reign with him, he lied to me, the Lord said to him, I warned you many times, you fought and battle against those who brought you the message, then the Lord made a screen appeared and told T.B. Joshua, look at what is happening in the world, people are blessing God for your death and they say you are in heaven, seeing these images T.B. Joshua got angry and began to repeat to the Lord, no, I am not in peace nor rest, I was told that this place was real but I did not believe, but this time around I do, the Lord was in tears and said, people are saying to you to rest in peace but here you are in torment, I saw in the screen the life of T.B. Joshua, on the land he was preaching and people loved him. I saw him at home watching a video of a message that was rebuking him and calling him to repentance, but T.B. Joshua got infuriated instead of humbling himself, and he sent demons to attract the man that was delivering the message to him, I saw the black crown that penetrated his skull and the worms that were entering him, he was in great torment, he told me, go tell the world, tell my wife and children to accept the Lord Jesus Christ and walk in truth. In order to avoid this place, tell the church I ignore the holiness of the body though I knew the truth about it, tell woman to get rid of makeup, lady trousers and wigs, tell the world hell is real and burning, I am torment, all my life I kept the truth captive and this is my fate, Roman 1 verse 18, the wrath of God is being revealed from heaven against all the godlessness and wickedness of men who suppress the truth by their wickedness for what may be known about God is plain to them, because God has made it plain to them. The Lord said this is what is waiting those who fail to preach the holiness of the body and the heart, he knew that the Bible forbid women from wearing jewelry but he kept his mouth shut, because of glory and wealth, go tell leaders who made covenant with the kingdom of darkness and marine spirit, tell them to repent, this is a warning that I am sending, let the wise understand. T.B. Joshua chose glory over me, that is why he is in the place of torment, beloved, if you had died yesterday like him where will you go, there is no man that hath power over the spirit to retain the spirit, neither hath he power in the day of death, and there is no discharge in that war, neither shall wickedness deliver those that are given to it. But a prophet who presumes to speak in my name anything I have not commanded him to say, or a prophet who speaks in the name of other gods, must be put to death. My hand will be against the prophets who see false visions and utter lying divinations. They will not belong to the council of my people, or be listed in the records of the house of Israel, nor will they enter the land of Israel. Then you will know that I am the sovereign Lord. Then the Lord said to me, the prophets are prophesying lies in my name. I have not sent them or appointed them or spoken to them. They are prophesying to you false visions, divinations, idolatries, and the delusions of their own minds. Therefore, this is what the Lord says about the prophets who are prophesying in my name. I did not send them, yet they are saying, No sword or famine will touch this land. Those same prophets will perish by sword and famine and the people they are prophesying to will be thrown out into the streets of Jerusalem because of the famine and sword. There will be no one to bury them or their wives, their sons or their daughters. I will pour out on them the calamity they deserve. For the time will come when men will not put up with sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear. They will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myths, but you...